Hi there folks, Andrew here at Chatfuel. Today is a super exciting and dare I say historic day in the future of Chatfuel. That's because as you can see in front of you, we are officially pulling back the curtain and unveiling our new card abandonment plugin. This is incredible because this makes it easier than ever before to connect your Chatfuel bot with your Shopify store to send those card abandonment reminders and recover otherwise lost sales to put more money in your pocket. Of course, this comes at no better time than Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all of the holiday shopping that will ensue because obviously people are spending a lot of money. This is a great opportunity. And now again, with just a couple clicks, you can connect both of these platforms to make more money and increase your revenue. All of that said, let's now dive in and show you step-by-step step how this plugin actually works. It'll take just a couple minutes, if that, because it's super simple. Like, it's ridiculous to me. A couple months ago, we released a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this, and it was way, way more complicated than this, so enjoy. First, we want to head over into the Grow tab here. That's where we already are. And you'll see this new growth tool for cart abandonment reminders. Step one, we need to link our Shopify store. So I'm going to paste in the name of this Shopify store. You probably already know this, but if you don't know how to get this, you can just log into your store and it will give you this URL right here. I'm going to click Connect. I've already done this before, so it's not going to prompt me to approve the permissions of the Chatfuel app in the Shopify store. But if you haven't done that before, it will. You can just proceed and you're good to go on to step two. So step two is setting up the opt-in mechanism, the opt-in message on your storefront. What does that look like? I'll click set up here and you'll see. So the preview here on the right side of your screen is what users or visitors of your Shopify site will see. This again is a mechanism. Once people click this call to action, it will send them a message or not send them a message at all if that's what you prefer. And then this will allow Chatfuel to track Shopify visitors on your site so that once we understand that they have abandoned their cart, we can then send them a message. So this opt-in is a key component and that's how it works. Obviously, you can customize some of the text here, like the headline, get exclusive offers, and the subtext here as well. Also, you can customize to an extent, although a lesser extent, the button text here, this blue call to action. Unfortunately, you can't fully customize it due to Facebook's terms of service. Instead, you have to use one of these predefined call to actions here, but there's a lot to choose from. You have flexibility. And so let's choose send this to me. It's simple and conversational. And then as far as the duration after which the user is on your site, when you want to send them this message or this pop-up, you can determine that here. So I would suggest anywhere between 25 to 90 seconds. So let's go with 25 seconds here. Let's switch it to seconds. 25. There we go. So now the user, after just being on the site for a little while, they'll see this pop-up. If they opt in, we'll send them a message, as I'll show you in a second. And then whatever they do in the future, if they abandon their cart, we'll follow up with them over Messenger. And so now let's set up that message that I just alluded to. Again, you don't have to set up a message here, but if we want to, say, send them a discount code that we maybe promise in the headline here, we obviously want to follow through with that. So I'll link to a block that I've created previously called Thank You, and then I'll click Save. Now, before finishing up in step three, let's go customize that message or at least show you what it looks like in the bot. So I'll go to that thank you block and there we go. So the user's on the website, they opt in through the call to action and then we say, hey, thanks for subscribing. Now we can track their future behavior and actions on our Shopify store. Awesome. Let's go back into the grow tab. And then finally for step three, we're going to set up the timing, the schedule, and also the content of these card abandonment reminders. Great, so all we have to do here is set up the scheduling and then we can go back into the Automate tab to set up the actual content and customize what we do or don't want. So here by default, we have this 20 minute reminder schedule for the first message, which is great. And then we can also customize the second one here. In the last example, the last video that I was filming here, I set it to 23 hours, which you can certainly do. It's good to follow up 
once before that 24 hour window of interaction expires. But if you also want, you can experiment with something just like one hour, and then you can see what performs best. By default here, you have two messages. You can add a third reminder, although we recommend keeping it simple, especially when you're just starting out getting your feet wet and just limiting it to those two options. But there's unlimited flexibility here. Great, so I'm gonna click save, and then we can go ahead and check out those messages that appear here in the form of a sequence. And we can also customize the timings here if we so choose. So in this first reminder, you'll see that we are actually dynamically importing the content of that person's cart, right? So if they have, let's say, two items here, we're importing the images of both of those items that they've abandoned, the product titles, the pricing, and also the call to action button here, which we can customize that will take them directly to the checkout for their cart or a specific product. So this is the first way that you can utilize this abandoned cart message. And I would probably recommend using this gallery style. I'll show you the text card style here in a second. But to me, if I'm on Messenger and maybe I don't remember why I'm getting this message, having that visual will definitely help in improving those conversion rates, getting people to click through, at least in my mind. But another option you have is, as I just mentioned, the text card here as well. So let's say they just abandoned their cart and you wanna send them a text message saying, hey, you forgot to complete your checkout. You can certainly do that as well. Customize this call to action, however you'd like, just like in the previous style, and then drive them to convert. So you have various options here, and of course it goes without saying that you can add a number of elements here like text cards, quick replies, etc. You can use the A-B test plugin. Anything else that you could do in chat feel, you can do here. But this is the main plugin, the core component of these card abandonment message reminders because it's dynamically importing that Shopify content. Cool. So the last thing I want to discuss just briefly here is obviously the statistics. Now, this is one of the most important aspects of this plugin because you want to know how effective and successful is this, is Chatfuel at actually recovering carts and making you more money. So those statistics appear right here. You can see the number, of course, of how many of these messages were sent to your subscribers, how many of those who received it clicked through, and then the number of orders that were placed as a result as well. And down here, of course, you have the most important fact and figure, which is revenue, right? How much money did this plugin actually make your e-commerce store? So that in essence is the card abandonment plugin. A lot to go over, but again, a lot of it is just really customization options that you have. The setup itself is super simple. You can do it in what, 30 seconds probably, if you just go right through all those steps. I hope you put this feature to good use during the holiday season. Let us know down below if you have any questions or just how you plan on using this feature. And happy botting.